I'm sorry guys if the lighting is not that good. I don't really have a good setup because if I put my ring light on, I feel like it's too bright. <laughs> so I do apologize. Let me know if you like this darker lit uh, type of feel. Oh, and then also please leave in the comments below. Is it? Because I've had a couple comments of people saying it's not correct, and I thought it was. So, today I will be answering some questions about high school and giving advice about high school. <sighs> yeah, I want to have a studio space one day. <laughs> but, I gotta work with what I have. So it's from the video, I'm picking questions from the ASMR Whisper Ramble Gum Chewing Mouth Sound. What is your most memorable moment from high school? What, what is your most memorable moment from high school? My so, um, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't, oh yeah, I'm gonna try to see if I can post the picture anywhere and see if I know how to do that, but I'm not very tech savvy, which frustrates me so much. Technology frustrates me, like YouTube and posting videos because I used to have, well I do have a really good camera, but for me to change it to, like when I put it on my computer and I edit it, but then, once I try to post it on YouTube, it's not in the right video format, and so I have to change that, and then sometimes it messes up all this audio stuff. It's really frustrating. So I think I just need a Mac, because I think it's apparently, like, stupid people friendly. <laughs> just kidding. But I th think it makes it more simple for stuff like that, so let me know. Okay, so my most memorable high school experience, um... Okay, I don't really have a memorable one, I think, or at least if it's memorable, it's kind of a bad experience. Just to let you know, growing up, I was very, very shy, and I was a very good student, so all I did was focus on my studies. So, I didn't really have a good middle school or high school because I always wanted, I was like always envious of the popular kids and how much fun they looked like they were having, and I was like shy, and I just like kind of studied a lot. You know, I took a bunch of honors classes, a bunch of AP classes in high school, so I was different. People, you know, made, they didn't like upfront make fun of me, but I mean, in middle school, people were more vicious, and I was like bullied a little bit, but more I felt alienated, because I didn't feel like I fit in anywhere. I was very mature for my age, and I still am. I don't really like, I never did gossip or talk about, like, s simple stuff, which is fine if that's your thing, but, or I don't think gossip is ever good, but I never gossip, I never talked about, like, who likes who and what clothes I bought and stuff like that, I don't know, I, I'm more of a, let's talk about our future and what goals do we have and learning, so I always hung out with, like, people older than me when I started going to the gym. So, that's where I started feeling, um, but yeah, I was like, then the, the thing that sucks is when you, when you're in school, people judge you because you're different, and I think that's really stupid, because when you grow up and you become an adult, being different is like, awesome. It's like, now it's cool. So, I think you should just stay different because people judge or think it's wrong when someone is different, even when they're not hurting anyone, which I think is really stupid of society. My most memorable moment is probably... Like, this time that I got bullied because I had gotten... I got, like, um, signed up early. Like, I came in, like, early morning for a chemistry exam because it was like a... 
exam kind of thing where a bunch of schools got together and um, you took different exams, whatever exam you want to, like chemistry, biology, dance, like it didn't have to be just exams, just like different stuff to see how you would place dance, theater, um, but if I got if you get third, second, or first for the chemistry exam, you would get bonus points for chemistry class. And chemis AP chemistry was very intense. So I signed up early and basically people accused me of like cheating, sneaking into school, and like breaking in to sign up. And then like, yeah, it just kind of spiraled out of control and people were like, oh, that makes sense why she's turning in all her homework is because she's cheating. So they didn't, they couldn't accept that I actually like worked really hard to do what I wanted and I think the thing that pissed me off or at the time it made me really sad but pissed me off now is that my ex-friends at the moment like and I realize they weren't good friends now is because they as soon as like stuff got tough like they just just, just like backed out of the way like they didn't defend me they just backed out of the way so I felt really lonely yeah I know it's like a really like that's the first thing that comes to my mind how do you know who are your true friends? I found it hard since many people talk back about each other. Elena. I think that if you, if, if someone can gossip with you about somebody, they can, they can probably gossip about you to somebody else. So you could tell a lot about somebody by how they talk to you and what they talk to you about. So if I met somebody and they would be like, oh, this girl, blah, blah, blah. And it gives me a bad vibe. So listen to your gut, because anytime I have a bad vibe about a person, I just don't deal. Because there's so many fake people and just like people that aren't good for you, so just stick with your gut. Like, I hate playing games, so if I meet somebody and they're not honest with me, which I deserve the truth, everybody is deserves the truth, so if... If I meet somebody and say for example like I had to bail out on something like I couldn't go do it you know I couldn't meet them or I don't feel like it because I'm depressed or something like that and I see them the other day and there's something going on and they're kind of like I guess they're like passive mad which I think is the stupidest thing ever like just be upfront about it and I'm like what's wrong oh nothing Right then and there, if you can't tell me the truth, I'm like done. Okay, I don't want to hang out anymore. Like, I don't know. Life is too short that I'm not going to waste my time on people who can't, like, communicate. There's so many people who can't communicate. Like, I'd rather you just tell me the truth and be like, yeah, that hurt my feelings. Like, okay, we'll figure it out. Like, I'm sorry. Or, you know, talk about it. So, it's the same thing with, like, I guess it kind of reminds me of like texting a guy like if a guy is all playing games and I'm like oh should I text him should I not my gut instinct is this guy's playing games I'm not gonna want to do that so I just buy whatever so I go with my instinct if I can tell this person's cool and I feel comfortable with them and I feel like I'm not like oh what if she likes me as a friend what if she doesn't like then I just I don't like that's just I don't know. Too much work. It's not necessary that it's too much work. It's just I can tell it's not that's not the friend I want to be with. I don't want to be with a friend that I have to question my every move and, you know, I'd rather you when you find a connection with someone, you'll feel it. So, yeah. I think that's the best way to go about. It. Don't ask yourself and wonder and all this stuff. Just be upfront and if they can't be up front. I hope that helped. <laughs> kind of went off for the tangent. In high school, healthy eating on a budget. Um, Self-care for stress in high school. I'm not in high school anymore, but this information can be useful for college. Thanks as always for the tingle skinny by 8-Bit Painter Jamie. So high school healthy eating or just school healthy eating. Um, I think bringing your own lunch is helps a lot um just packing a lunch like a healthy sandwich or something it doesn't have to be like super healthy but just packing your lunch because then you can you know what you're bringing in it's like a little bit more or less processed um 
on a budget like cooking healthy food is actually pretty cheap because like if you cook chicken in bulk it's you know you can get a big pack of chicken for eight bucks and it can last one person like maybe like one or two weeks so um usually around two weeks like it's not that expensive but people think healthy food's expensive but it's not really especially if you cook in bulk and um, make a couple you know make a couple meals for the week and just bringing your own food and um, I think the biggest thing also is just stopping yourself whenever you're full so eat slower listen to your body because I know us Americans and just I don't know if it's other countries too but um, in this country we eat really fast um, like I if you watch ASMR eating videos before somebody finishes chewing they're already like picking up their next bite so like take your time savor the flavor um, and then for stress, I think the biggest thing to think about is high school and even, well, mostly high school, middle school, like, and even college a little bit, like, it's not gonna matter when you get out, like, it really isn't. Like, I remember when I used to stress about the silliest, stupidest things in high school and middle school, and it's like, now looking back, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Like, I would cry over grades and stuff like that, and now it's like, I don't even use my college degree. And in college, like, okay, say you want to be, say you're only getting your bachelor's degree, remember, C's get degrees. If you're going to grad school, of course you want to do a little bit better, but the thing is, like, there's always more to whatever you're doing. Like, it's never the end of the world. If you fail a test, like, there's always more, like, yeah, maybe you, what if you get bad grades? What if? There's always jobs you can do, certifications you can get, like, you know, there's always alternative pathways, like, just, you try your best, but if you keep in the mindset that you're not doomed if you fail this one thing, I think you'll, it'll help you de-stress, and with less stress, you can focus better. Another thing is, when you stress, is it changing anything? Is it helping you at the moment? If, like, most of the times when you stress, you're not actually, you're not doing anything. You're just sitting there stressing. So, instead of using all your energy on stressing, why don't you use your energy on being productive? Be like, yeah, I got this. Like, yeah, I can do this. But my biggest thing is I would tell myself, like, most of the stuff you do, it's not going to matter, or you're always going to be able to find a way around it. Like, yeah, if you, like, wor like worst case scenario, say you, you drop out of college, and I'm not saying you should, you can do certifications, go and massage therapy, you can, you know, get a job into somewhere, and the more you have connections, like, the more experience you have with a job, you can get up from there. Like, you don't have to rely on school so much like to be honest i i wish i took a semester off and before college and just thought about what i wanted to be because i wouldn't have done the certificate that i or the degree that i did before um yeah i'm just saying life is so short like there's always there's so many options for you to do and it's like it's not the end of the world if you fail or you can't do that one thing you know uh, somebody said, how old am I and what year did you graduate high school and college by Gunblade Warrior? Um, I am 23 years old, even though I know sometimes I look 17. Some people say I look 44. <laughs> Excuse you. Um, yes, I'm 23. I will be turning 24 next month, actually. What year did I graduate high school? I graduated high school in 2013. And I graduated college uh, last year, 2017. Wishing you the best with your job search. Did you suffer with depression during your time at high school slash college? If so, how did you deal with it? How did it affect your studies? What are your favorite memories? <laughs> By shooting star ASMR. So, my job search, I appreciate it. At the moment, I can't really get a job because my boyfriend and I share a car, so that makes it really difficult. Unfortunately, I know I can get around it, but 
I don't know, it's just gonna be very stressful if I do, so I'm gonna wait a little bit until he is able to get um, his own vehicle. Um, did you suffer with depression during your time at high school, college? Yes, I did. I, um, I got depression at 18, and I know people are like, what, like, how do you, it, it just came out of nowhere, like, nothing actually happened, unfortunately, because I feel like if something happened, you can try to get over that one thing, but mine was more of a mental thing that I had been holding in, um, so the first day of high, high school senior year, I was fine during the day, and then I came home, and that night I just, like, had my first, um, depression attack, a uh, breakdown, um, and I was just bawling, crying, and I just felt awful, like, the sun was never gonna come up the next day, like, this was it, the world was, like, ending or something, and over time, I realized it was because I felt like I was not living my life because I was just going to school, going to the gym, getting good grades, and, you know, I, I felt like there was more to it, and I wasn't living to my fullest potential, um, but yeah, it affected my schooling a lot because my high school, thank goodness it was my senior year, but I just didn't care about stuff, like, I just didn't want to be there, I didn't pay attention in class, like, I was, I got decent grades still because I guess seen, I had less classes, so it was easy, I just only had to focus on a couple classes, but yeah, I just didn't care as much, I would, um, I didn't skip class so much, but I just would be in the back and not care and just be on my phone, kind of. Um, I think at the time I was on my phone um, trying to study my personal training certification because that's that's what I want to do. If I focus on stuff that made me happy, I actually, you know, felt like I was doing something I wanted, not just what everyone expected of me and being smart and being a scientist or doctor, so. Um, I think finding time to do what makes you happy, even if it's like building a puzzle or little stuff, like I think that's the best because we we do what we are supposed to instead of what we want to. But yeah, like um, it affected I, like I was, I started dating a really like older guy and I just you know didn't want to be at school. I, I I'm pretty sure I probably skipped some classes here and there. I didn't focus, I was just, yeah, my grades started slipping a little bit, but it was like, I guess it, my grades had been so high before that it didn't really make that much of a dent. Um, and then, what are your favorite memories? <laughs> my favorite as in good, good memories, um, I know, that's really sad, isn't it? <sighs> favorite memories, favorite memories. Oh, favorite, favorite memories. My favorite memories. I don't know. I don't know why I can't. Nothing comes up to mind, to be honest. Like, I started having a better time in college. <sighs> but high school wasn't really a good time. Like,. I think some of my favorite memories are probably hanging out with my guy friend and um, more so when I started, when I stopped hanging out with my ex friends at the times. Um, the two friends I had for like 10 years when I stopped hanging out with them, I think I was way happier because they were t so focused on school and stuff and it was just a really bad influence on me, like all they cared about was school and boys and it was really, like really stupid i have like so much resentment towards them still like i yeah i think they're stupid i know that's really mean but i don't know yeah um so i think more senior year was better because i was able to just be a little bit more free and do what i want and i was kind of ready to go to a different city um for college yeah, I'm going into my junior year and me being nervous as an understatement. Sophomore year was a disaster for me. I struggled a lot with self-appearance and anxiety, depression. Any advice would be helpful by Gabby Azur. I had a couple people ask like tips for freshmen, tips for junior. 
think my tip is just like like I said again it really doesn't matter just be yourself like it's all in your it really is in your head if you care what people think it's gonna it's gonna be hard which I cared a lot so just try not to care be, and I do I say that by telling yourself like these people don't matter like the only people that should matter to you are your closest friends and family people that actually love you for who you are because it's so it's when you care about what people think it makes your life a living hell because you you don't do what makes you happy but think of this this way you're living your life they're not living your life you get to choose what you do and you get to choose what makes you happy you know, who gives a fuck if you're, if you don't want to be a doctor, if you want to be an artist, like, do what makes you happy, whatever way you can, you know, maybe you're scared you can't make money, but you can find a way, you can, you know, do a job while you're, you want to go into something, like, just go into what you want, seriously, I don't care what people think, as long as you're not hurting yourself, and as long as you're not hurting other people, do whatever you want. It, life is too short to care what people think. It really, really is. Like, And with anxiety and depression, um, that stuff should help, like my advice. But other stuff is do do what makes you happy. Um, that will help with depression so much. With anxiety, like be grateful. Be in the present moment. Usually people have anxiety because they're thinking about the future too much. So just be in the moment, like realize what you have and realize that you're alive and be like, sit down and be grateful. Um, I'm going to make a video showing this as well about how I do my gratitude and depression um, in my journal. But yeah, just sit down and think about all that you have and be in the moment, like feel the, feel the air hitting your face and just like you're here, you're alive, you know? I don't know. Meditation is a good way to do that. What kind of a pupil were you, Kimmy, by Yana Zerva? I have brown pupils. I'm just kidding. Um, I was a very, very nerdy girl. Um, I was the type of person that if the teacher was like, oh yeah, so there was only one student that got 100%, everyone would be like, oh, Kim. So I was that nerdy, um, very shy, good girl. Um, always did my best, always turned things like two days ahead, did projects two days ahead. I was the girl that you would want to be working in a project with. Yeah, that was me. Um, I graduated third in my high school class, so uh, my grade point average, average was like 4.7 or 4.9 and um, out of 5 because you, we had honors and stuff like that. So that was me. How to Manage Finances in College by Julia Pike um, I think it, getting a summer job is definitely good and just saving up as much as you can it teaches you, you know, money and stuff like that and also it's good for your resume um, if you, like say junior or senior year or like any year where you don't have as much classes if you can do a part-time job that would be cool too um, but overall just go to places that are cheaper, you know, go find sales, um, ask yourself, do I need to spend money on this, you know, like, if you have enough clothes, do you really need to spend money on it, stuff like that, um, you can always, there's a bunch of apps out there that can help you budget stuff, um, and I do recommend those as well, um, to help you see how much you're spending and to see, like, maybe, oh, this month I spent way too much on fast food, I need to watch out for that. And they have like, um, um, what is it? Cafeterias you should go for plenty of food. Okay, last question. What should I wear and be on the first day of middle school? And I'm a very shy person by Arena. Oh, good joke. I'm um, sorry. Joe Kutch. Joe Kutch. Wear whatever you want. Seriously, nobody remembers but you. So if you want to wear something really fancy, you can wear something fancy. If you don't want, if you want to be yourself, be yourself. I say be yourself and wear something nice, but that is you. 
because honestly no one remembers you're not going to remember later on i don't remember what i wore any of the days um sometimes on the first day of school i used to not wear something super fancy because everybody wears something fancy on the first day but then on the third day i would wear something fancy not super fancy just wear something nice but yourself if you if you want to wear sweats wear sweats like just be yourself you know whenever you aren't yourself it kind of creates a little bit of discord in your in your heart and your mind um and i think that's why people have de depression or a, one of the reasons because you're trying to be somebody you're not and that can actually create a lot of stress without you realizing it Um, I know I'm usually silly, but for these videos, I, I'm very, I don't know, I'm not trying to be serious, I just, I want to help you guys. Um, leave in the comments below what advice you would like me to give.